Hello! Uh, I'm playing Civilization VI with the Rising Fall and Gathering Storm DLC. And we're gonna play as uh, the Roman Empire for this first playthrough. And being Roman all, I think it's only right that we try and go for a domination victory. And for those of you who know very little about the game or don't know what that is, it's just a, a domination victory is won by capturing all the other city, all the other civilizations' capitals. And uh, basically, this is just a, it's a game about strategy, and it's kind of board board game like and turn based, and with the goal of beating all the other countries or civilizations um, in multiple ways like through science, religion, culture, and uh, domination. And with the rising storm, or there's a uh, new way to play which is a diplomatic victory, but I think for this one we're just going to try and be pretty aggressive and see what comes out of that. So we're gonna get a scout here and he's gonna basically walk around and figure out just exactly where we are and if there are any nearby civilizations. And I'm playing with eight others, eight other civilizations and they're on random so I'll find out exactly who they are just as soon as you guys do at his best man is the noblest of all animals separated from law and justice he is the worst i'm going to be kind i'm going to try and be quiet when those pop up because i know i find them interesting and if anyone else does i want to make sure that they can actually hear the quotes so we've got some policies right here, and I have a feeling we're going to run into barbarians, so we're going to have to do that one. And let's just get some more production, because I'm not looking for faith, and I don't really need any gold at the moment. Uh, there are a lot of these little tribe things right here. Basically, if you just land on them, you can get like money, uh, technology boost, or a um, settler, just anything like that. Just nice little things to grab. Like right here, we got a builder. And so I think since we got a builder, I'm just going to go ahead and make a settler. And he, that settler guy is going to go around and find a new place to make another city and uh, so basically we want this population to go up because the more population we have the more these tiles expand and now uh, that they start working them and like almost any game these numbers right here it's a very good thing when those numbers go up and that's exactly what will happen and so we're going to go ahead and put a focus on food to kind of bring that timer down. We're going to have this guy come over here and make a farm. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. Yeah, I'm excited. I really enjoy this game and the strategy and everything behind it. And it's just kind of a nice, relaxing, kind of competitive thing to do. But uh, I've got this on quick mode because if anyone knows anything about these games, they are incredibly long. Even on quick mode, it's like 10 plus hours, probably more to finish a game. And I don't, I don't want it to last, like, too obnoxiously long. But we've got a city-state right here. 
And basically, they're just going to be a single city. And they're not really trying to win. They just kind of exist. And you get envoys and stuff throughout the game that you can send there to get nice little buffs for your empire. I'm pretty surprised we haven't seen any other civilizations yet. I guess we've got a nice little place all to ourselves over here. That's exactly what I was talking about about the barbarians. I knew there would be one somewhere. I kind of don't want that guy to, got to die, so let's... Oh, that's going to be a long time, but let's try and bring that guy back here. Every nation lives by exchanging. Let's kind of head away from that danger right there. And I don't think I have any technologies to do anything else right now, so I'm just going to let him sleep until something pops up. And we got these civics. And I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and do early empire because I think it's the only one that's I should not have done that I should put him back that way <laughs> no man ever wetted clay and then left it as if there would be bricks by chance and fortune let's get this guy coming up over here Oh, we got another builder. And I think we're going to research mining. Because we've got this stone right over here. Let's give this guy a forest, forest promotion because we've got a lot of woods all around us. And I guess we'll just have to sit him here and then put him to sleep also. Oh, what just happened? Yeah, I guess we are kind of all by ourselves over here. It's kind of cool. We've got we're Rome. That's in a peninsula that's what we've got right here I guess let's get this guy going this way oh no we got another this one's a lot closer so let's take uh, care of that now we got a settler I don't know, all of this place over here is going to end up flooding, but I think it's probably going to be worth it to just go ahead and put him there, because we've got a lot of these resources and stuff. Let's go ahead and get a granary. When you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. But right now we're in the ancient era. And as we unlock these technologies and these civics, we're going to end up moving on through time and until we get eventually the modern day and past that. I'm gonna get this guy and put him here because I can get him a bonus to traitors and stuff. And for anyone who doesn't know what these governors are, it's something they added in the Rise and Fall DLC. Basically, uh, all of these cities and stuff have loyalty. And so the farther away they are from your city and the closer they are to other civilizations their loyalty can go up or down and so 
say these governors come in and they provide extra loyalty as long as as well as a bunch of buffs and things like that so with the loyalty like if you made a city right in the middle of a bunch of, of other of another civilization's town then you'd end up you could end up losing it that way Let's promote him, try and get some of his health back. And can we buy a warrior? Yeah, we need to take care of that before it becomes too big of a problem. Cool, so we've got uh, Egypt as one of the other civilizations we're playing against. There's these scouts right here, and we've got another one, so let's just have them kind of protect this guy. These dudes need to get out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and see if she'll accept. Uh, nope. I guess you got to wait a turn before they'll let you do that. But I'm going to kind of uh, play it a little nice with these guys. Because, I mean, there's no reason to make enemies so Without early on. Craftsmanship. Inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Now we've got this opportunity right here, we need to take it before they move back there again. Let's just stick these guys here in our city. Oh man, we really, this is going to take a really long time. But, we've got these builders here, so I can just send them over that way. And let's start working on a trader, so we can start trading back and forth with Rome. Vessels large may venture more, but little boats should keep near shore. All right, let's just kind of fortify these guys so they heal up. Let's, let's start getting some sh ships so we can sail up and down the coast. Yeah, these guys are able to finally do something now. Yeah, these guys are already becoming a problem. I guess I'm going to fortify him. Hopefully he'll attack that guy. And so we'll end up taking less damage and doing more to them. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge. But if men make war in slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. See, that worked out a lot better than if we just straight up attacked them. And we'll just stick these guys on alert. And right at this moment, we need food more than anything else. So let's kind of prioritize that. I mean, we've got two luxuries right here. Huh. 
I guess there is a flood here then. Man, did that builder already run out of charges? I just prefer to let him attack me. Writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. Alright, let's get these guys over here and then starting a mine. Now let's try and take care of this problem down here. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. We're the first civilization to make a ship. That's kind of surprising. Let's promote these guys. And we want to definitely get this campus so that we can actually start producing some science and further our technologies. I really don't want to have anything very much to do with faith right now, so I'm just gonna save that envoy. Thousands have lived without love, not one without water. Let's get masonry. You've got a bunch of stone around these places. Well, I guess we did something that they liked. Glad we got rid of those guys before they became a problem. We're getting tons of technology boosts. Now let's bring these guys back here and just let them heal back up. I kinda want the hanging gardens because they grant. 15% growth, but I don't think I have the production for that in this place. And I don't think I'm able to do it in Rome. It is equally important to have a happy and engaged workforce as it is to have a profitable bottom line. Luckily, these guys haven't researched borders yet, so we can cross through there. Let's get some governments going. And this is what I was talking about right here. So now this trade route's gonna get a lot more food headed this way. Well, I guess that's a good thing because, man, I did not expect that to happen, but it didn't really do very much, and I think it made these grounds a lot better. Let's go ahead and get a library. I don't, I 
someone would save my gold out of my body thing right now. Each of us is carving a stone, erecting a column, or cutting a piece of stained glass in the construction of something much bigger than ourselves. I forgot we never sent them, and I guess they're still mad. I don't understand why. Yeah, I think we're gonna hit the top of the map up here. I don't know. You might have to turn back around. Let's put these guys on a word again. Maybe there's gonna be a pathway through here. Let's heal these guys. Luckily that's is the mirror of the form. Wine of the mind. Luckily, luckily that flood is not our problem. It's their problem over there. We're getting a lot of food produced over here. It's kind of surprising. I guess that flood worked out for us. I think we'll get a government plaza before we do anything else. And let's make the granary. Alright, we've made it to the classical era. Politics is the art of the possible, the attainable, the art of the next best. Alright guys, I think I'm going to leave it off right here. So I'll see you guys next time.